Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. I want to do a quick follow up tutorial on my recent release how to edit VR180 video with the brand new Google VR182. In that tutorial, I teach you how to insert graphic with the Boys Continuum VR units, which is not a free plugin. So, in this tutorial, I want to teach you a way to actually insert graphic without using the Boys effects and you can do it 100% free just with Adobe Premiere. Here's how. So go ahead and find the VR 180 video I have one shot with the Lenovo Mirage right here. Open that. And then in the field of view, we gotta convert that into a regular 360 video in the top and bottom stereo. And here I put optimal for input. So let the VR creator tool to figure out what is the best resolution for the Lenovo Mirage. And then make sure you fix the highest quality and this on tripod, so no stabilization. This setting is also gonna work for any other editing software like Final Cut Pro X or Nuke, which don't have stereo side-by-side -side support yet. So use that and go ahead and convert. So now we're back in my PC on a Premiere. Go ahead and import that. But before we do that, let's take a look at what Google VR 180 to generate for us. If you look at the detail, it's 4K by 4K in size. So go ahead, drag here to create a new sequence. So in this step, because even for Mirage footage, if you have a slower PC or Mac, I would actually highly recommend on this step, you do a proxy. Basically just right click on your footage in here, proxy and create a proxy. And then go ahead and pick one of my presets. Again, I have a full proxy tutorial right here how to work with proxy in 360 stereoscopic video. Why I want to use proxy because it's 4K time 4K. It's a big file. It's going to be slow even if you have a powerful PC. So that's why you need proxy. So next thing is you want a way to preview this and hit sequence, sequence setting. And then in here, the, eco the sequence setting, you want to put the projection equal rectangular and here is stereo over and under and it's 360 in 180. So go ahead and hit OK. And now go ahead and hit the toggle VR video button. If you don't see this button, go ahead and hit plus icon. And it's somewhere right here to drag it into the toolbar. And then go ahead and hit that. And now you can pan around as a regular VR 360 video, not 180, which is great. And as you see, you see Enigrat as well. If you don't see Enigrat, right click again, VR video, in the setting, make sure you enable anagram. So at this point, you should put on your anagram glasses to check out your stereo to see if it looks good. So let me show you how to insert graphic now. Go ahead and drag into an after effect transparent PNG animation right here, which is here as you see is my name. If you turn it off, you see right here, front and centers. So go ahead, go into effects, put in VR and this time instead of using the boys effect continuum like right here, we're gonna use the native Adobe immersive video right here. It's called VR planes, planes to fears. So go ahead and drag it on top of the footage directly. And initially it would not correct. So go ahead and make sure that right here, pick stereoscopic over and under. And then make sure to kill the feather. I don't want feather. And in order to view it, go ahead and hit this button. So now you see the graphic, but again, it's wrong because everything have anagram, but not the insert graphic. So that is not correct. So now go ahead and toggle down the stereo, the stereo disparity degrees right here. And then now it's a good time to again, put on your anagram glasses to figure out what is a good amount of disparity to look right into the scene. So in this particular scene, you need to make sure that this graphic is on top of me. So have more disparity than me because it's covered me, but probably have the same amount of disparity with the Oculus Go goggle right here because it's kind of in the same space. Also, the good team from Google also figured out some number for you. If you're a number person, just 
make sure that see i have a ruler right here look at the ruler so the vr headset actually exactly four feet away from the camera so if four feet the approximate disparity is around three and that will look correct so if your insert graphic is supposed to be six feet away from the camera use two if you are three feet away from the camera like my oculus go right here use four and if you are 1.5 feet away from the camera which you should probably not because the safe distance of the mirage camera is two feet but if you're that close use a like right here if you see put on a the graphic is really despair and even my look weird on a vr headset so not recommended but that's a number if you're a number person so before we can render this final footage you want to cut out the empty pixel on the left and right into a vertical format for the VR creator to, to actually create the correct VR 180 format video. But there is a problem here for the free version of the insert right here. You can doing that with the VR planes to fear and actually I will show you. So if you just go ahead and change your sequence to change your sequence setting to, to 050, which is half the size, go ahead and hit OK. Okay. And great, you cut out the extra pixel on the left and right, but as you pay attention to the insert graphic, it actually squeezed into, let me go ahead and show you better. It squeezed my graphic into this really weird size, which is not correct. So that is a step you need to pay extra attention. You cannot just create a new sequence, drop this into that sequence, or just change the sequence size into half the size. It's not gonna work. So let me undo this. As you see, you come back to the original length and height. Instead of directly transfer the size, we basically gonna use the same concept you use in After Effects. We're gonna pre-comp this effect and move the VR planes to fear into a different composition. So go ahead and right click. In Premiere, the pre-comp setting is actually called Nest. So hit Nest. And then go ahead, just change the different name. Okay, okay. Now, everything's nested onto a different layer now. So now we can freely to go ahead and go back to the sequence setting and go ahead and hit and in the frame side, go ahead and change to 2050. Hit OK. OK. Now, as you see, the side chain did not actually modify my graphic insert. It actually protected. That is the correct ratio. Again, if you cannot see it, let me just zoom it in and see the graphic look correct now. Let's just export a little clip right here. Go on File, Export, Media. Again, I go into detail on export setting for different scenario in my previous tutorial. So go check that one out. In here, I actually gonna try a new one, which is using H.265 for export and go ahead and hit Match Source. So see the final output should be 2050 time 4100. And a target bit weight, I would suggest always go ahead to as much as you can go. And then make sure you check the video is VR stereo over and under, and then go ahead and export that. So now we are back on our Mac, go ahead and open the VR 180 meta injection tool. So go ahead and hit the preparation for publication, select. And I actually just want to show you the first version, which is the problem version. And then right here again, pick top and bottom because that is the input stereo format and it's VR 180. And then if you see, if you go ahead and turn on the VR mono preview, as you see, the graphic is wrong. It's all squished. It's not circle anymore. This is supposed to be circle graphic. So we need to make sure that in the final state, you pre-comp all your effect layer before you actually change the layer size. So go ahead and remove this. Go ahead and select a new video, which is the correct conversion right here, the V2, open that. As you see, now the graphic is looking correct. Again, top and bottom, VR 180. And now you can just go ahead and hit export and export. It'll pass really fast because we just injecting meta. We are not doing anything extra fancy. So now go ahead and open YouTube, hit upload, and go ahead and drag the final render file onto YouTube. So right now the process is done. And I'm actually gonna connect to my phone as well. As you see right here, this is my phone cast. Open YouTube, just go on to, again, your channel. So pick, go ahead and pick a channel, go to library, and then hit my video. 
and that is your upload video right there. Go ahead and hit that. As you see, it plays smoothly on a just a mobile screen. It looked like a regular 2D video. Again, you can actually look at here as well. Just play this video right here. No one really knows how to cut together and we are watching video for YouTube. It's a regular video, no like interaction. But again, look at back to this video. Casting right now, right here. Just to refresh it. And play again. Now you have to hit the VR goggle, turn it on. Because it's a really short clip. Just rewind it. Turn on VR mode. As you see, like you can turn around and it's entirely VR 180. Look up and down. As you see the graphic here, it actually look correct as well. Look at the graphic. Awesome. So hopefully you like this video. Again, if you want to learn more about VR 1 Pro production, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumb up. I will see you next time.